Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do another dollar store or 99 cent makeup look. Um, if you guys haven't seen my other dollar store makeup look, I will link it down below in the description box. I was really pleased with how it turned out, so hopefully the products I'll be using today will turn out just as good. And the dollar store in my area doesn't have that many makeup options. I've seen other YouTubers do this uh, challenge or makeup look, whatever you want to call it, using good brands like Revlon, Milani, and all of that. And my store it does not have that. So all the makeup products that I'll be using today are new. I just picked them up today. So this is kind of going to be a first impressions as well. I might have used a couple of these in my last dollar store makeup look. I probably just don't remember, but I might remember as we start the video. So, if you guys want to see how, or I don't know how I should open up this video. So, if you guys want to watch me try to create a makeup video using only dollar store makeup or 99 cent makeup, then keep on watching. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is apply a foundation. I got two of them. I think I used this one in my last dollar store makeup look. I'm not too sure. I think I did. And the reason why I got two of these is because... Um, I don't know which shade will work better for me and plus I couldn't find a concealer this time so whatever is lightest I'll just use that as my concealer so let's open these up this one is from LA colors and this one is from color mates all right I'm gonna swatch a little bit on my hands just to see which one is lighter so this is what this shade looks like and I feel like this will match my skin pretty well um, let's open this up Oh my gosh, this took forever to open up. So this is what that looks like. It comes with a little sponge. Um, so let's swatch this. Let's take a little bit. Oh. Okay, the product is not coming out, but we'll make it work. Okay, there you go. So this is definitely lighter right here, and I'm gonna use that as my concealer. So first I'm going to apply this foundation, um, where is my sponge? And to be fair to these products, I am going to be using my own brushes because there are a lot of products out there that are really good, but if you use shitty brushes, then it just won't work. And plus, I couldn't really find brushes at the uh, dollar store. There was probably only two brushes and it would have been really hard to apply this whole makeup look with just two brushes. So for the foundation, I'm going to be using this sponge from Real Technique. This is only like five dollars or four I can't remember so I'm just gonna directly put the foundation on the sponge and then I'm gonna apply it to my skin this foundation is more like a BB cream because it's not a full coverage foundation you could still see my actual skin under it it's very sheer I might put another uh, another layer of the foundation on I'm trying to cover more around my mouth area because I'm breaking out right here and up there. So hopefully the second layer looks better. All right, now let's apply the other foundation as the concealer. So I'm gonna open this up, take the same sponge and dip it in there. That's actually not bad. You just have to blend it really well. And some on my eyelids to prime my eyes with that. And now to set my face, I'm gonna use some powder. I got two of them because I wasn't sure what shade I am. This is lighter, this is a little bit darker. This one is from LA Colors. And this one is from Color Mates. Okay, I'm gonna try to set my concealer first with this. All right, let's see. I'm still gonna take that sponge and dip it in there and try to set my concealer with that. I'm gonna use a brush on the other side just to see which one works better. I'm using another Real Techniques brush. I feel like they work the same. All right, now I'm gonna use the darker powder and set the rest of my face with that. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It comes with a little mirror, um, but I feel like this is more on the pink side. Um, but let's 
try it out. Hmm. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think I'm going to use it to give my face a little more color because I'm looking too pale. So I'm going to apply this on the rest of the face. Alright, next I found this little blush right here. This is from a brand called Aziza. And this is in the shade Natural. This is very pretty. Alright, I'm going to take the cooler tone. And then... See what happens. I actually really like this. So let's blend some more. All right, now I'm going to take the baby pink shade and apply that as my blush. That's really pretty. I just don't know what's happening right here. I keep trying to blend it, but it's not filling up. I don't know. I don't know what that is. All right, now moving on to the eyes. I got two little palettes. I wasn't sure what look I was going for, but I just grabbed both of these. And I'll just go with the flow. So I'm going to start with this palette right here and use these as my transition shades. Oh, and this one is from LA Colors. And this one is called Brainy Beauty. So let's open this up. Alright, so the first shade I'm going to take is this one right here. And that's going to be going on my crease. Let's see. And then I'm going to take that shade right there and apply that on my crease as well. And these eyeshadows are blending pretty well, as you can see. I think I'm going to do a halo makeup look. So I'm just building up the crease with the same eyeshadow. I'm going to apply more on the inner corners in the outer corners and leave this lid space blank so we can use some shimmer alright so now we're gonna use the other palette and this one is from LA colors and this one's called dazzling this is what it looks like I really like that blue shade in there so I'm gonna attempt to use that shade alright I'm gonna use my Morphe R39 brush and I'm gonna take this shade right here and I'm going to darken up the crease a little bit more. So here we go. Alright, and now I'm going to use the blue shade right there with the same brush. And I'm going to apply it on the outer corner. Up to the crease. And inner corner right there. These eyeshadows are surprisingly very pigmented, so this is making it easy for me. Alright, now that we have that, I'm going to go back to the first palette and use the lighter shade in the palette and apply it on my eyelid. So I got this glitter eyeshadow from Wet n Wild. This one is called Brass. And I'm just going to apply this on the eyelid. So this is what that looks like. I'm just using my finger to apply it because it's easier. So the glitter on my eyes is still kind of wet, so I'm going to wait a little before I apply my eyeliner. I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. I'm just going to use a eyeshadow from the palette. Um, let's go back to the palette. And I'm just going to use... Let's see. Uh, I'll use this shade right here because that will match my eyebrows. I'm just going to get an angled brush and apply it with that. All 
I have no idea if my eyebrows are even but they look pretty okay from here all right now moving on to the eyeliner I got two of them I think I did this last time again with the same products um, because I wasn't sure which one I was gonna like and when I was at the store I couldn't remember which one I actually did like so I got them again but I think this is the one I ended up liking because the felt tip on this is longer and it's probably gonna make it easier to wing my liner so let's open it up and try it okay so this is what the brush looks like like that and I do think this was the one that I ended up liking last time this one is from LA colors um, so I need a closer mirror Alright, that one turned out good. Let's move on to the other eye. Alright, now I'm going to use another eyeliner and this one's going to be going on my waterline. This one is from Color Mates and this is in the shade Black. Ooh, I got Black Brown. I thought I got Black but that's fine um let's open this up this one's actually really pigmented as well um it's gliding on pretty well and the black brown is not bad at all all right now I'm going to move on to my lower lash line, so I'm going to go back to the eyeshadow palette. Let me see. I'm going to take my Morphe E43 brush. It looks like this. It's flat. Um, let's see. I'm going to take this shade right here for now and see what that does. So I'm just going to press it. I'm going to use a Morphe E506 brush and I'm just going to blend this. And now I'm going to go back to the glitter and I kind of want to apply some right over here in the inner corner. Um, I'm going to take this little brush that came with the eyeshadow palette and I'm just going to dip it in there. And see what happens this actually came out really pretty um, very festive so perfect for the holidays if you're on a budget all right now we're gonna move on to the eyelashes okay so I didn't realize that I got two pairs that are actually very similar to each other um, they're basically the same one is from color mates and one is from select lashes before I apply my lashes, of course, I'm going to use some mascara. This one is from Color Mates, and this is just a basic black mascara. All right, so I'm going to apply some on my upper lash. Ooh, this is a brown mascara. Oh, I didn't realize I got a brown mascara too. First the eyeliner, and now the mascara. Hopefully, this will be okay. Um, let me see. Uh, actually, it's not too bad. So, we're just gonna apply some up here. I have the lashes right here. I'm gonna apply the glue that comes with it and hope for the best. Alright, so far, so good. Now that I have my lashes on, I'm going to wait till they dry so I can go over my eyeliner and fix anything that doesn't look right. But in the meantime, I'm going to move on to my lips. I'm going to use this lip liner from Wet n Wild and this one is called Willow, which is in number 712. And for my lipstick, I got this one right here. I just grabbed this real quickly because I really like the color. 
Um, I have no idea what this is. I didn't even read it. I just saw the color and grabbed it. Um, so this is a instant lipstick and lip gloss. Oh, these are remover pads. So this is a liquid lipstick and these are the remover pads. Um, so this is from the brand Princessa. This is such a pretty shade. So I'm really hoping this looks just as good on the lips. I'm trying to find the name of this one. Alright, so this one doesn't have a name on it. Let's try it out. Oh, this is really pretty. Okay, I'm really loving the formula on this. This reminds me of the Smashbox liquid lipstick. Except this is only 99 cents. Alright, now for the highlighter, I couldn't find one, so I'm just going to go back to my eyeshadow palette and use the lightest shade in there and use that as my highlighter. Let's see. We don't need too much, just a little bit. I kind of want my lipstick to be a little bit more on the nude side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to this. Um, this is the foundation that we use as the concealer. And I'm just going to dab it on the center. So this completely changed the actual lipstick shade, but I'm actually really digging it. Alright, so the last thing I'm doing is going back to this palette, taking that lighter shade, and applying some on my brow bone. And this is the finished makeup look using only 99 cent makeup products. And I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. This will just help me know that you guys enjoy watching videos like this. Um, I love creating content like this where I share affordable makeup products because there are really affordable, good makeup out there. You just have to try them out. And I think this makeup look turned out really good for it only being 99 set. And I think I only spent about, actually I have my receipt somewhere right here. I only spent $14.97. So you can get this whole look for $14.97, $15. That's amazing. Um, once again, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also, there's a little bell next to my name. A lot of people are saying that they don't get any notifications from my channel whenever I upload a video. But please make sure you click on that bell next to the subscribe button. And it will notify you every time I upload a video. And I think that's it. So once again, thank you guys for watching. And I'll talk to you later.